Hi, I'm at Heathrow Terminal 5 and I'm about to fly to New York City. I'm flying with British Airways in their 747. It's been about ooh, 25 to 30 years since I've flown in a uh, British Airways 747. Back then, they set the standards. These days, I'm not so sure. I'm about to find out and uh, see how they go in business class. Before I board though, a quick shout out to uh, my young nephew Oliver Edwards who's uh, a bunny young YouTuber and uh, putting some great videos together. There's some link below, good on you Ollie. And secondly, all of the year 10s at Cabra College in Adelaide, Australia. Uh, keep studying hard and uh, go out and travel the world and uh, make the world a better place guys. Let's, uh, let's go to uh, New York, let's go and do it. that instead of uh, I've got an empty seat here instead of having somebody staring right at me or flight which uh, I must say is a bit of a weird and awkward feeling uh, to have somebody that close looking straight at you. Okay, let's talk about the cabin first because it's pretty interesting. On the 747, BA have their seats laid out in a 242 configuration with half the passengers sitting backwards. There are two business class cabins on the main deck with the front a cabin having four rows and the second where I was seated having only two rows. On the upper deck on the 747, British Airways also has business class in a 2x2 two two configuration. The best seats for couples are the ones in the middle these face backwards. The best seats for long haul business travellers are on another airline. When these seats were first introduced, British Airways and their seat designers would have called them innovative and revolutionary. To me, they are the most impractical business class seat I've ever seen, and the person who designed them has clearly never flown business class long haul before. Let me explain the features. Firstly, there's the awkwardness of flying face to face with a stranger and establishing the protocol of the privacy divider, up or down. During meal service, the crew lower the divider as they must reach across the aisle passenger to serve those sitting at the window or in the middle. Now imagine that this would be awkward for both the passenger and the crew. The seat itself is comfortable. I had the window seat and this at least had a degree of privacy something that is completely absent from the aisle seats. For storage, British Airways provides a drawer, which I believe is designed for shoes or even a laptop. However, once a seat is in the bed position, you have no access to it at all, meaning that you'll be going to the bathroom in your socks during the night. Let's just hope the floor is dry. Additional ample storage space is provided on your lap. This is very convenient, unless of course you want to stand up. The adjustable footrest works well, however the hard pocket cover means that you can't even place a newspaper in here. Down by the storage drawer is also where you find the inconveniently placed power point. There is also an additional USB point next to the remote. The tray table folds down from under the entertainment screen and provides a flimsy working surface. If you're in a window or middle seat, you'll need to raise the table if you want to stand up or even access the PowerPoint. When it comes time to sleep, the seat converts into a fully flat bed. The bed was very comfortable. If you sleep on your back and are perfectly still, then the table provides a convenient place to keep your stuff. Just don't roll over onto your side. My advice is to reconnect to your inner child and treat your water bottle as a teddy bear and hope that your glasses don't fall down the side of the seat while you're asleep. Obviously, window seat passengers have a small amount of space next to the seat to put papers or blanket bags. However, the aisle and middle seat passengers don't even have this. I'd love to meet the person who signed off on this seat design. To 
British Airways credit, the crew on this flight were excellent. They were friendly and eager to please. Service started with a glass of champagne on boarding and I indulged in a very British gin and tonic after takeoff. Dinner was served. I had the melon and prawn, followed by the chicken. Both were excellent. For filming purposes, I had to try both the cheesecake dessert and the cheese plate. Again, both were delicious. Snacks were provided throughout the flight. British Airways provides their amenities kit in a soft bag, which I find much more useful than a hard case. It was well stocked. There are no PJs or slippers provided in business class. The entertainment system worked well. You can control it via the touch screen or with the remote. I liked the interactive route maps and there were plenty of TV and movie choices. However, the audio choices were very limited. We landed into JFK during the tail end of a storm. The pilots did a sensational job with a smooth landing. My overall verdict? British Airways have got fantastic crew and great food, but they are let down by the most impractical seat in the sky today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, check out my channel, subscribe and uh, have a look through uh, all of the other reviews in my back catalogue. Thanks for watching and as always, happy travels.